All right, on DBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, I'm live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, folks, um, you know, I, I've talked about some of these frauds, and I'm going to call these women frauds for right now because, you know, now, you know, everybody saw Chris Cyborg fight Holly Holm, and everybody's thinking, like, that, God, dog, you know, I think I can do it now. I think I can do it now. All these people. And I told y'all, didn't I tell y'all, I made a video and I told y'all that these women, they were going to come out of the woodworks. And every last one of them going to be saying, oh, yeah, I can, I can take Cyborg now. I can get her now. Can, you know. But remember, before the Tanya Avenger fight or, you know, yeah, prior to the Holly Holm fight, none of these people were coming out. Everybody was quiet. Everybody was quiet as everybody was, was, was quiet in a piece of cotton in the wind. Okay? Everybody was quiet. And, and, you know, I, I got to sit back and, and now, you know, can't nobody call through this. But see here again, this is where Chris Cyborg is not going to get a just due. See, it's always Chris Cyborg that people have an issue with, you know. And if Chris Cyborg say, OK, I don't want to fight this person. Well, OK, she's ducking the person automatically. What is it, man? Like, why don't people believe Chris Cyborg? You know, it's kind of crazy how, you know, before the fight with uh, Chris Cyborg went down, OK, and Mike Winklejohn, you know, him, he, he ran his mouth. He was the one running his mouth before the fight went down with Chris Cyborg. And, um, you know, when Mike Winklejohn started running his mouth, Chris Cyborg said, OK, I'll fight Holly. But who did Holly fight before she fought Cyborg? She fought Batch Cohea. Now, didn't nobody, there was no uproar. And, and, and many of you, there was no uproar with her fighting Batch Cohea. I did. I made a video about it. I said, man, this, this fight didn't even, why? Why make this fight? Okay, why make the fight? But then again, I started thinking, you know what? Holly done had these losses. And I said, because after a while, I was kind of like, nah, this fight's a garbage fight. But then I started thinking, nah, Holly done had, you know, three losses in a row. She need a light touch. So then I kind of, I was on board with it. But, you know, nobody, and the coach means nobody. A lot of people, wasn't well, nobody in up arms about her fighting Betts Cohead first. No. And then at the time, she didn't even say she wanted to fight Cyborg. Like, they wasn't even putting it out there. But she was allowed to fight Betts Cohea first. Now, why is it that Chris Cyborg out of her own mouth said, I want to fight Megan Anderson first, and I'll fight Amanda Nunes next? But people, they can't get through their head that, oh, well, she ducking Amanda Nunes. She ducking Amanda Nunes. But nobody was saying that Holly Holm was ducking Chris Cyborg when she chose to fight Betts Cohea first. I mean, how are we going to explain that? See, here go the thing. And I need a lot of you to understand that, you know, you guys get upset with a lot of videos and that's fine see I, I call it balance i call it balance yeah there might be a little biasness yes i do have a chris cyborg bias yes there are a lot of fighting and we went through this story before but i call it balance because i'm going to continue to balance it out okay i'm gonna continue to balance it out i'm gonna keep balancing it out and i don't really care you know how a person feels about it because what's right is right She's not ducking, okay? She's not ducking Amanda Nunes. How, how does that make sense? Why would she even think to duck Amanda Nunes? The person who's been calling her out the most is Megan Anderson. And I keep telling y'all, Chris Cyborg is old school. If you want to talk to junk, then let's fight. Okay? That's it. She's old school. She's very old school. There's nothing complex about Chris Cyborg. Look, if you want to fight, let's fight. Okay? We'll fight. But in any, in any of Cyborg's conversations, she did not say she would not fight Amanda Nunes. She said, I want to fight Megan Anderson first. Those are her words. She said, I want Megan first. Before I get anybody else, I want Megan Anderson. That's what she said. And I don't know, you know, what is it about Chris Cyborg that people can't believe. And it's kind of funny how people will sit up there, they not believe anything that Megan Anderson say. You know, we still ain't got a reason why she pulled out of the fight or literally duck cyborg we still don't know that okay everybody believe team home you know and i don't expose them as, as the liars that they really are <laughs> you know they tried to side with the cameraman who you know was putting down chris cyborg because in reality holly home lost dude got in his feelings because he is simp don't nobody want to acknowledge that no nah, uh -uh, nope but that's okay i know what it is i know what it is she's not afraid of amanda nunez She's not afraid. She just really want to fight Megan Anderson first. And so Will and, you know, Chris wasn't even going to have time to, to really just rest. She was ready to go right back into training camp to go fight Megan Anderson. See, the time frame ought to tell people she's not ducking. Because anyway, you know, 
Amanda wasn't going to be ready in six weeks anyway to fight. She wasn't going to be ready. Amanda got to go through at least an eight-week training camp to get ready for Chris Cyborg. So, see, that debunks all that notion that she was afraid. Because had Chris Cyborg would have said, you know what? I'll fight Megan Anderson. I'll fight you. Uh, I'll fight you in uh, two months. But I only want to fight. Uh, you only want to fight Megan Anderson. Now, if she would have said that, then you could have said, "Well, she ducking." But she's not ducking Megan Anderson because she wants to fight Megan Anderson at UFC what two twenty one. She want to fight her there in Australia. How is she ducking Amanda Nunes when Amanda Nunes won't even be ready? How y'all gonna explain that? If Chris Cyborg said, listen, Amanda, let's fight. Let's fight in six weeks. Amanda is going to say, no, I'm not ready to fight. I hadn't cut the weight. I hadn't had the training time. That's what Amanda Nunes is going to say. Even Amanda Nunes done already said it out of her own mouth that I got to be prepared for a fight like Cyborg. She already said it. So now let, let's take a look at what we're talking about. See, all these women, they frauds. I'm going to tell you, they think that Chris Cyborg is losing a step. That's what they think. In the back of their mind, they believe that Christiane Cyborg is losing a step. So now here's my opportunity. You know, if, if I'm going to do anything, I need to do it right now. Uh, Chris Cyborg has lost a step, and I think I can get a win. I can etch a win out. I know. All I got to do is out pinpoint it because, uh, 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 you know, she ain't going to want to take me to the ground. See, that, that's what all these, these frauds are thinking. I'm going to tell you, <laughs> I think it's more damage Chris Cyborg could have did, really, if she wanted to. I think. But maybe, and just maybe. It's a good tactic to draw some of these women out. Make yourself look vulnerable. Make yourself look like you're really not as effective as you once were. And then these people want to, uh, and then she'll draw them out. Uh, you know what? I, even, I, th I think, here's what I personally think. I think if she even, if she were to get that fight, you know, let's just say Megan said, yeah, you know, I I'll take this fight. I'll take the fight. Sure. <laughs> you think Chris Cyborg going to go in there and take it easy? No, she's going to beat the living piss out of Megan Anderson. Megan Anderson, stylistically, is a bad matchup for Cyborg. She's going to fall right into the hands. Stylistically, she's food for Chris Cyborg. And she's going to be there to be hit all night long. And I'm telling you, Megan Anderson going to catch that first right hand, and she's going to be like, whoa, this ain't Charmaine Tweet. <laughs> That's what she's going to say, whoa, this ain't Charmaine. But I know we got the Megan fans and all these other people, but you got to think about the time frame, y'all. And it's kind of like I done debunked that whole theory that she's afraid of Amanda Nunes because <laughs> Amanda is not going to fight. She's not going to fight in, what, five, six weeks, four weeks. She ain't going to be able to do that. She won't be ready. And so that's how you know Chris Cyborg is not ducking Amanda Nunes. <laughs> oh, man. You know, it, it, I guess it's really easy. The easy thing to do is just to blame Cyborg for everything. That, that's the easy thing, right? That's the easy thing. Easy thing is to blame Cyborg, to always try to discredit it. That's the easy thing because that's what's been that's what's been done for so many years. You know, some of you come on here, you want to leave your comments and you get upset because you know that some of your comments ain't coming through. Because I'm not about the foolishness no more. I done told y'all. This woman is not ducking Amanda Nunes. She's not doing it. And then when she get in there and beat Amanda, you know, what, 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 what I mean, what, what y'all going to say then? Oh, well, you know, she's still fighting people smaller than her. She never going to get a just dude. We already know what it is. We know what it is. If she get in there and beat some of these other women that's calling out, like, you got, like, legit 145-pounders uh, calling out. I mean, you got those people. They calling out. And she take a fight with Pam Sorensen. Man, come on, man. She going to get in there and break Pam Sorensen's face. Oh, well, Pam Sorensen is a bum. That's what people going to say. She's a bum. <laughs> Well, Battle Cat, Battle Cat ain't got no stand-up. <laughs> but, you know, Battle Cat is bigger than Cyborg, but yeah, still, it don't matter. It don't matter, right? Yeah, right. It is what it is. Say what you want. She ain't ducking no Amanda Nunez. She's not even thinking of Duck Nunez, and that, well, that's just the way that is. I'm done.